So here we have a question which in the end will ask us to perform a confidence interval calculation but then also a hypothesis test calculation based on the same sample. What is it we are after here? So we're having an opinion poll, so an opinion poll based on 100 interviewees. So we know that n is equal to 100. And in here, we know that 34 people say that they are satisfied with the level of the local council services. So we immediately know we are after a proportion. Okay, and we can see that from A, find the 99% confidence interval for the true proportion of people who are not satisfied with the local council services. In that sample, that proportion is 34 over 100, so 0.34. Okay, so 34% are not satisfied. And what we want to find out, what is the true proportion, the true proportion, let's call that pi, of those people. So, as usual, when we're calculating a confidence interval, we take our sample here, proportion, plus minus, something that comes from a distribution, and then times the standard error of that sample proportion. Standard error of the sample proportion is going to be calculated by p times 1 minus p, where p is the sample proportion, divided by n. That's where we got the standard error of the sample proportion from. So where does that value come? Does it come from t distribution, chi square distribution, normal distribution? Well, it depends on what the distribution of our sample proportion is. And we know that for large enough sample sizes, the, sample, the proportion of our sample is normally distributed. And if we standardize it, so if we calculate p minus pi divided by the standard error of p, so the standardized proportion is standard normally distributed. So what we learn from this is that this value here from the distribution comes from the normal distribution so we call that a set value and we want the value that cuts off alpha over 2 now we want a 99 percent confidence interval so we know that alpha is equal to 0 0.01 so that's what we need to calculate. Sample proportion plus minus set alpha half times the standard error of p, where the standard error of p is calculated like this. So from here onwards, really all we need to do is we need to plug in our values. 0.34 plus minus. Now what is that set value? If we need, so we need the set value that cuts off half a percentage point in the, in the tail of a standard normal distribution, that is 2.576, and then times the square root of 0.34 times 1 minus 0.34 divided by n, which in our case is 100. So that leads to 0.34 plus minus 2.5 576 times 0.04737 and that leads to a confidence interval of 0.218 as the lower bound and 0.462 at the upper bound. So you can see that's actually a quite wide confident interval value of 3.5 so now of course we know to make a decision about the null hypothesis we need a p-value so let's um let me see let's do a little sketch we're looking at 
the standard normal distribution as a sampling distribution for our test statistic set. So that is 0 or 1. Our test statistic is 3.5. So what we are after is the size of the tail, but given we are having a two-tail test statistic, we are looking at the size of the tail in both ends of the distribution. So if you now look at the uh, standard normal table, we can try and find a value of 3.5. The, the largest value we get is 3.09, and here the tail size is 0.001. So let's go. Up on. Let me just use a different color here. So if uh, if that one here was three point oh nine, then the tail would be zero point oh oh one. That means the red tail, that tail. All we know from the table is it is smaller than zero point oh oh one. And as we have to multiply it twice, we know that the p-value is smaller than 2 times 0 0.001, which is 0 0.002. So the p-value is smaller than 0 0.002. And that means for most commonly used significance level, let's say 1% or 5% or 10%, we would reject the null hypothesis as the p-value is smaller than our significance level and hence the probability of getting a sample proportion as extreme as this or even more extreme is less than two tenths of a percentage point.